I'm Elsie. And I'm Debbie. And we're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. chocolate covered cherry cookie um, we did it a year ago when we at the holidays and it was a hit then so we figured we'd do it again for you for all you new followers that may not have seen that before if you like chocolate covered cherries you're gonna love this cookie because it tastes just like a chocolate covered cherry I'm going to start creaming my butter first and then I'll start putting in the rest of the ingredients here. And I'll tell you what they are as I add them. Alright, I'm going to add in my sugar and then we'll let that cream together for a few minutes. All right, I'm going to add in the egg and mix that just a little and then we'll do the vanilla. All right, I'm gonna add in the vanilla. I'm gonna add in our dry ingredients, which is cocoa powder, flour, salt, baking soda, and baking powder. We're going to bake this at 350 for about 10 to 12 minutes. These are going to spread because they do have baking powder and baking soda in it. So make sure that you leave them at least two inches apart so they don't like get on top of each other. These are going to be just like chocolate covered cherries. So good. Elsie and I are going to do this in unison because uh, it'll help get the process going here. So we have a mixture here that Elsie made off screen. Uh, we did uh, condensed milk, we did some cherry juice from the maraschino cherries, and we also did chocolate chips. Yeah, we did semi-sweet and milk chocolate mixture. Yeah. And this is going to go on like a frosting on top of the cookie before you bake it, before you bake it. So, 
because our cookies are about an inch, we're going to go ahead and push these all the way down in here, inside, and put a little bit, just a little bit of your chocolate frosting on the top of it, just like that. And that's how it's going to look. But make sure you put your maraschino cherries down inside as far as you can go all the way to the bottom. I usually cover mine up like this here and then just put your, your frosting on the top. And that's why they're cho basically chocolate covered cherry cookies. <laughs> it's an amazing taste, guys. This is so good. If you can't cover it all the way up, it's okay. Just do what you can. So we're gonna have quite a few bakings on this here, because um, we got quite a bit of We'll dough. have about a dozen, maybe, of these cookies because these are a little bit bigger because they are one inch size scoop. You can make them smaller if you want, but you need something that the cherry can sit into. So that's why it's better to do like a one inch scoop. We cut our maraschino cherries in half. You can do them whole if you want to, but it's not going to close if you do it whole. We may actually have to take some of these and put them on a separate um, baking sheet just because these do spread. All right, guys, so we are ready to go into the oven. These look delicious, y'all. So we'll show you what they look like when they come out. Christmas time is my favorite time of the year, especially for the cookies. And then we'll show you what it looks like when it's done. And we'll see you in our next video. And I'm Debbie. And, and we're, we're Two Sisters Sister Southern Cooking. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.